my darling sister, you think you've gotten a raw deal because culturally your husband oppresses you. Culturally, uh, he abuses you. Culturally, you got cultural baggages. So you think you, the Muslims are doing you a wrong deal. But I have news for you. My darling sister, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allowed you to keep your own name. You know, you get married here in this country and you're Mrs. So and so. But in Allah's book, you are so the daughter of so and so. You've got your own name. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through his sharia has seen to it that you have your own wealth. You have your own wealth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has seen to it that you get your own portion of inheritance and you keep it too. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees to it that no matter what you earn, your husband has to provide for you. This is Allah's sharia. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made you not an object of desire or objectification as they have done in the West, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made you a pillar and a builder of the society that you are a part of. And what did you do? What are you doing? Let's look at some of these pillars in the society. I ask you, Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. Musa alayhi salam. The Prophet Musa. His life was a success built by women. His mother was inspired by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His sister ran after him and saw that he was returned to the household. The wife of Fir'aun pleaded on his behalf for Fir'aun to what? To, to take him into her home. Surrounded by women. The life of the Prophet وسلم, was a success by women. Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha gave herself and her wealth and all that she had for this deen. The, the wife of the Prophet وسلم, Umm Salama, she gave him counsel which at one time after the treaty of Hudaybiyah, his uh, companions were having doubt in their hearts about what to do. She counseled him, mashaAllah. The household of the Prophet ﷺ, his wives were women who gave out the sunnah and the ahadith and the fiqh that we, you and I study to this day. Women, our deen is a success of women. And our sisters, this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Tahreem. Mm -hmm. He says, وَضْرَبَ اللَّهُ مَثَلًا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Allah has made a parable or a similitude or a parallel or He has given an example to people who believe. Not women who believe, people who believe, both men and women. Imra'at of Fir'aun, the wife of Fir'aun, is called, Rabbi ibn li, andaka baitan fil jannah. When she said, O oh God, O oh Allah, build for me a palace for you in uh, uh, for me next with you in Jannah. Wa najini min Fir'aun wa amalihi, wa najini min al qawm al zalimin. For people who believe, yeah, save me from Fir'aun and his actions, and save me from the bad people. And I wonder which of our leaders today can say, save me from the bad people. Uh, but you're saying, this is my job, brother, so I have to tow the party line. It is my job, brother, I have to do this. I, I, we say to you, didn't, didn't you not know? لا طاعت المخلوقات في معصية الخالق Didn't you not know that there is no way that you can, you can obey the creation over that, the, the laws of the Creator? So when you say, I'm selling these things and I'm doing these things, check yourself. وَنَجْنِي مِنَ الْقَوْمِ الظَّالِمِينَ And... Allah further goes on. Wa Maryam abnata Imran. Maryam, the daughter of Imran. Hmm. Allati ahsanat farjaha. Who was that woman who is ifat? Who was that woman who is modest and chaste? To show women that that's how you need to be. Show women, men and women. We are suffering as a people. And we are supposed to be the vicegerents who are supposed to bring Islam to non-Muslims? That ain't gonna happen. 
It's not going to happen if, if you don't have the taqwa of Allah and if you're not aware of these things.